Right, drawing a one-point perspective of this drawing over here. Looking at it, I've got my stationary point over here. Looking across at the top view, I should be able to see the front of the object and the right-hand side of the object. My horizon line over here is below the object, therefore I'm going to be looking up at the bottom of the object. For me to get that into some sort of perspective, I've got my stationary point looking at the right-hand side. There's my right-hand side. My horizon line is down below it, therefore I'm seeing the bottom of it. And this over here is my front view, and you can see that I've transferred that across over here to get the front view. Right, let's start by drawing the front view directly below the top view. I'm going to draw lines down from where I'm going to call those my feet over there. And I'm going to draw in my hidden detail first, just because I think it's safer to do it that way. There we go. There's my hidden detail. Drawing in the hidden detail over here. All right, let's draw a line coming across from the top of the object, and I'm going to draw a line going from the base to the top. Okay, this over here is like a little slot right at the top of the object, so there's the slot at the top of the object. I'm going to take those lines going down, like that. And a line coming across from the slot over there. So I can draw in that little slot right at the top. You'll see these two lines over here. They're represented by this hidden detail over there. So I'm going to drop those lines down like that. Like that. And from that I can get my little oblong block in here. There we go. And once I've done that, I'm just going to finish off the top by drawing a line from there to there and from there to there. Right, once I've got that, I need to find a very important point on the horizon line. Okay, the name of that is called the vanishing point. Good. Right, there we go. VP. I drop a line straight down from stationary point onto my horizon line over here and I call it VP. Right. I'm going to draw the right view of this thing first. So I'm going to draw lines from the front view over here, going down to VP from that point, from that hidden detail over there, and from that top point over there. On that side, I'm going to be able to get a particular shape of this object. Right. Let's start by looking at the very toe of this shoe over here. I'm going to draw a line coming across from the toe to the stationary point and where it crosses over the picture plane over there I'm going to drop a line coming straight down and I'm going to draw in a little line over there between these two lines coming down to VP and you'll see why I've done that in a moment. Right, I'm going to draw a line going from that corner down to that point Okay, stopping at that point over there. I'm now going to look at the top of this thing. This over here, this line over here is right at the top. Let's call it A and B. All right, A, B going across that distance. I'm going to take a line from point B over there, going down to my stationary point. It crosses over the picture plane over there, and I drop it down over here. You can see that there's my line A at the front, or that corner A at the front, going back to corner B over there. So I can draw a line going from A to B over here. I know that B is not a single point on its own. It has a point down below it. So I've got B at the top, and underneath it, I've got another point, let's call it C. All right, you can see over there, you're seeing this hidden detail over here? That is going to give me where corner C is. So I'm going to drop a line going straight down to where corner C is. 
Once I've done that, I can take a line going back from corner C to where the toe is. And you'll see that that all links up nicely to give me the right view of that object. Right. Um, you'll see that my toes, they are all in line with each other over there. So I'm going to take a line going parallel. Can you see that line going across parallel? And now I'm going to say, okay, I've got a line going back from this corner to the toe on the other shoe. So I take a line going back from that corner to the toe on the other shoe. Can you see that idea? Going back to that line that I just drew out horizontal. I can see that I've got a gap in between my feet. So where am I going to get that from? You'll see that there is that gap between my feet represented by my hidden detail over here. I'm going to take a line going from there to there. And from that hidden detail down to the vanishing point as well. And I can then draw in my toes over here, there and there. Um, once I've got that, I can see that the gap between my feet only goes back a certain distance. Let's try and find out where, how far back my foot goes. Here I go. I'm going to take a line going from that point over there to my stationary point. Crosses over the picture plane at that point. I drop a line down from there and it connects with the back of my foot over there and I can now draw in a little line which is parallel to that little line over there. Once I've got that, I can then draw in a line going from there to there and a line from there to there, giving me my two feet. Okay, the last thing that we need to look at is the idea of it is a three-dimensional object. Therefore, the corners should have at least three lines coming out of them. Let's have a look. I've got one, two lines going into that corner. So I need a third line coming out of it going down to vanishing point. I've got one, two lines going out in that corner. I need a third line going down to vanishing point. I've got one, two lines in that corner. I've got one, two lines in that corner. And finally, I've got one last little line. You'll see over here, one, two lines going there. And over there, I've got a line going vertical. That is the completed drawing. Right. If you want to challenge, you can then go on and you can do all the hidden detail for it. Um, but you don't need to do that for your grade 9 story. But do the challenge if you want. <laughs>